Hello there. Today I'm playing this game. Yeah, I don't really like fighting those guys. A lot of time. Oh my god, we got another one. I'm gonna wait until he gets on the block so I can knock him. Oh, there we go. Oh, whew, okay. <laughs> Crisis averted. Yeah, as I was mentioning, I normally don't like fighting them because sometimes when you go to jump over their head, they hit you right in the head with a hammer. Or I guess right in your legs, depending on your angle. So go. Oh my god, will you guys stop? Okay, well, I'm just gonna use this time to kill you now. Oh, please. Oh, please. Just jump back up there. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. <laughs> well, there's that. I'm just gonna pretend that never happened. <laughs> okay. Let's try to get this now. Let's get this bread. Nothing happened there. <laughs> See what I mean about this guy's pattern? Okay, yeah, I just, I held back on that one on purpose. <laughs> I knew I was gonna jump to my demise. Oh my god, just hit me with the handle. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> it only took me one try. Don't look at any of those other parts. Now, I think there might be another, yeah, hidden mushroom under one of these. Oh, I'll take that. Come on, yeah. Oh, you know what? One of these is a block, and then one of these is a mushroom. But I can't remember which one's which, so I'll do this one. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I remember this one. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, as you can see, there's definitely... Whoa! Oh my god, really? <laughs> Just a little... Whoa, okay, that was almost very bad. T okay, well, that works. I mean, it would have been a fire flower, so I would have liked that better. But I'll take it over not dying. Yeah, that was some pretty crazy timing to land back down on the shell. Yeah! There we go. Yeah, this is one of those games where once you start slipping, you just kind of keep going. <laughs> it's, it's just a downward spiral from there. Yeah, one of these levels, I don't think it's this one, although this one does have bullets all the way through. So that one's kind of annoying. But there is one level towards the end where it's just a ton of these bullet outposts. And they're put at different heights too, so you have ones that you try to duck under and then one fires from below. It's just a mess. I don't like it. <laughs> And much like Bowser, you actually can't hit them with fireballs. So the bullets you either have to jump over or just avoid completely. You cannot fire flower them. Yeah. Yeah, I think I might try to go through all of the Mario games. Maybe in the same way as this one where it's not a super serious speed run or anything. <laughs> with the use of restore points and all that. Yeah, this one I don't like jumping on. Because when you jump on their head, they don't fall straight down once the wings break. So sometimes you'll knock the wings off and then land right on the side of the turtle and die. And it's a very annoying jump to have to do. Yeah, I may try to come through and do these all in one play. Because I could have just done that with this one and just started from the beginning. But at World 4-3, I don't want to restart the entire thing. At that point, there's really... Oh, what the hell is happening at the top of the screen? <laughs> Not really any reason to. Other than saying, Oh, I beat it without restore points! No! <laughs> Why does that keep happening in that same fashion? <laughs> it's like the second time that happened just like that. Where I'll fall down, and then not only will I almost not get back up, but I'll get hit by a Bowser fireball at the same time. Oh, they are just dastardly with how they time those fireballs. And I'm over. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you can really just speed through those Bowser fights. Like that one, I was in his chamber for about a second and a half. As long as you know how to time the run jump, you don't really get stuck at all. But yeah, now what I could do, if I wanted to really speed run this game and make it all the way through, is just use the warp points. And also, I'm going to try to kill this guy because I hate having this guy in the game. So I'm going to try to jump on his head. Yeah, there we go. Alright, now I get a little reprieve. So he actually does come back again, or maybe he has brothers. don't really know the logistics behind it, I just know he'll be back. It's very annoying because I hate that guy. If you have the fire flower, it doesn't really matter that much. But for like sections right here, you can't really jump too high or you'll knock into him. 
And if you go too low, you'll step on one of these spiky turtles. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. He almost sped up. <laughs> that was about to be very, very scary. And I'm pretty positive you can hit this block over here, but I don't know... Oh, okay. Well, all right. Don't need to do that. I know that now in the future. And now I swear I have done that jump before as Little Mario, and that never happened. So I think I just kind of confirmed that you do need to be Big Mario in order to get the... Okay, good. What was I saying? <laughs> oh my god, alright, well, there goes all of that. But yeah, I think you do actually have to be Big Mario to get those. Because I am almost entirely positive I have done those jumps before. Okay, that was just too scary. I'm not, not going to do that anymore. Once that spiky turtle came in, it just ruined all that. Yeah, yeah I'm going to need to test that after this. Just kind of go to that part where you jump up. I'm going to let the bullet hit me and lose it, and then rewind it, and then just do it as Big Mario and see what happens, because I swear I've done those jumps before as, as Little Mario and nothing happens. Okay, okay, all right. Wow, you get, almost screwed me, game. You almost screwed me there. <laughs> Although I do like how there is a block here, so I will let it slide for now. But yeah, see, stuff like that where it's just invisible blocks. Super Mario Bros. 2 is way worse about that. Like, that one right there almost killed me, but in that game, you have just constantly that happens. And also, there are some jumps that you physically cannot make. I don't even think with Luigi. And what you have to do, what the game wants you to do, is just jump around and find an invisible block and then use that block to make the jump now. Which is very fair, and not annoying at all. But yeah, I do hate when you have stuff like that where you're trying to avoid a turtle, and you almost kill yourself by avoiding it. Let's see if there's anything under this one. Okay, nothing. What about this one? If I can even make that. I don't think so. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna check on here. Yeah, see, this is why... Oh, okay, that works. I just don't really know how to grab that. <laughs> Let me see if I can... Oh! Uh, maybe that? Let's try it. Yeah, There we go. Okay. See, like right there, you have the vine block, and I don't know if that's the only way to reach it, but at least it's easier. And you have to get up to it with an invisible block. I mean, granted, it's all a secret anyway, so... It kind of does have to be a little difficult to get up here. But it's one of those things where it's like, you wouldn't even know that it's up here. Oh my god, that is terrible. Oh, come on. Yes, there we go. Okay, I recovered a little bit. I still lost about 12 coins there. All right, let's see if there's anything under here. See, this is what most of the game is, though, when you're trying to find secrets. It's just you jumping and breaking things. That's why when people are like, oh, it's obvious, the 16th block on World F5. You have uh, one up block there. So like, yeah, not really obvious. I mean, if you do it about 30 times, then yeah, you will eventually find it. It's like in Resident Evil 2, I think it's where you check the trash can like 40 times, and then you just find a photo in there. It's like, yeah, that was easy. <laughs> Easily could have just found that on my own. Alright, this is actually my favorite level. Not really from a difficulty perspective. I just like the way it looks. It's very simple. You can also do a crouch jump. <laughs> Don't really know what the practical use of that would be. And also, now I've kind of... Yeah, okay. Sometimes I crack my head on the girder there and just fall right down. See, now this is also a pretty cruel place to put a mushroom. So for the fire flower, it's easy to recover. But when you have a mushroom there, it is just precision timing to be able to not kill yourself trying to get it. Or just letting the mushroom fall to its death. Whoa, okay, that was almost cruel as well. <laughs> I just barely missed that. Okay, now you have a springboard and the bullets at the same time. Nice. Okay. Oh, alright. Okay, that works. Let's just keep going. Don't even worry about it. Falling girders. And we're out of here, baby. <laughs> okay. Yeah, some of these levels are pretty stressful. Although I do have a fair amount of lives now, so... Probably won't have to use the restore point again. Hopefully. It won't be a full... Oh my god, alright, well, I'm gonna try to go back and get that mushroom now. 
Ah, the fire block actually disappeared. Nice. Makes this a little easier. Oh, okay. But yeah, it's not going to be a clean run, because obviously I died many, many times to that hammer bro. <laughs> and then, of course, I used the restore point as well. Oh. But at least it's not a terrible run. There is some cohesion here. Could just be like everybody else on YouTube and just use restore points and be like, haha, I, I did this all on one life. <laughs> and just hide the fact that I'm using them, but I'm being transparent. Oh my god, almost <laughs> tried to slide under that and that did not work. That is also why I like having mushrooms during his fight. Yeah, I'm sure some people, especially on the Switch release, use like cuts and edits in their video. Especially in a game like this, it's easy to splice footage together and make it look fresh. But yeah, I at least show when I have to rely on a restore point. Whoa, okay, this is the level I was talking about, by the way. <laughs> Where there's just bullets everywhere. And I hope the timing... Oh, thank God. Oh my God, alright. It's gonna be amazingly fun. Oh, okay. Okay. And duck under that. Jump over that. Duck. And jump on the turtle. Oh my God. Alright. Okay, try to get past the turtle without him waking up, and I hate this game. Okay, <laughs> alright, we're good. Oh, no, 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 Nelly. Oh my god, alright. I am just going off pure instinct here. I'm not planning any of these jumps. Okay, I don't know how I... <laughs> I, like, elbowed that bullet. That should have killed me. Okay, alright. Oh, thank god. I hate those hammer bros. Okay, that was, a. Uh... I can finally breathe again. That was very... <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that was super obvious that there's a 1-up up, up there. <laughs> See what I mean about this game? And it actually almost killed me trying to get that. I almost went down to Little Mario. But again, I was Big Mario when I hit it. So, of the ones that I know of is that... Okay, well, I'm going to use this time to kill these guys with my invincibility. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> guess I'll use one of my lives. The very one that I just got. Yeah, that just kind of shows you right there that you do have to be Big Mario. So I actually completely forgot which jump that was. So I can't test it again. Alright, well. Here go the rest of my lives, just trying to get through these hammer bros. Yeah, when there's two of them especially, it is, I don't know why I jumped there. When there's two of them, it just makes that part so much less fun. <laughs> oh, I hate this. I'm going through so many lives here at the end. Yeah, see, this is why as a kid, if I was just playing this for the first time, I would be extremely frustrated. You know what? I'm just going to try to run past these guys. I'm not even going to bother. Whoa, okay, that worked. All right. <laughs> okay. That actually worked out. Oh, that was almost not worth it. Okay, that was definitely not worth it. <laughs> just let it fall anyway. So, good to know in the future that there's one of those up there. But yeah, you see what I mean about the placement of the 1-up blocks? They're so impossible to find just on a normal playthrough. You have to do almost like what I did there, where I was just running randomly and jumped in the air and cracked my head off a 1-up block. And then just almost threw myself into a bullet. Oh, please be underground. Don't put me in the water. I hate the water levels. Okay. Nice. These, these are cool. I love these. Yeah, see, this is also why I have to use the restore points, because I don't have it in me, if I were to die right now, to go all the way back to the beginning of the game. If I wasn't recording, maybe. But especially when I have... I don't really have finite recording space, but it does, it does take up a lot of gigabytes. So I would prefer not to have, like, nine hours of footage of me trying to play through this game. I'm just gonna leave those coins. That whole thing there was just too scary. Yeah, run Mario or swim, I guess. I almost gravitated right towards that fish, oh, that little white one back there. I don't know why I did that. Okay, squid. Pick a lane, squid. These squids are the most annoying. They do have a pattern that you can watch, but at the same time, they also move way too fast for you to be able to dodge with these terrible water controls. Oh my god, over the top, over the top! <sighs> Okay. Great squid at the end. You're not going to get me. You're not going to get me. Oh, please, for the love of God. <laughs> Are you serious? 
Ah, oh, love the water levels. Okay. Yeah, I could not do this for like eight hours, <laughs> getting all the way back up here just to lose all my hearts again. Or I guess mushrooms. I don't know how they count his lives. Be weird to count them by mushroom though. <laughs> but see, this is why games like this. Come on, just get over on my side. Let me go past you. Oh, I'm going under you. I'm going under you. I'm going over. I don't care. Okay, that was scary. Yeah, if they just made the water controls a little better, I wouldn't mind so much, but this is just awful. Oh, thank god. What, you can go- oh, my god. So he bounces off the terrain, but he can also go through the terrain. That's fair. Because at first he was bouncing- okay, now at least he's free of this area. But at first he was bouncing off the terrain there at the end, and then, I guess just whenever he wants to, you can go right through it. 